Hello and welcome to our video on the life and times of Vito Genovese, the infamous American gangster who played a significant role in the development of the American Mafia. He was involved in a variety of criminal activities, ranging from gambling to drug trafficking. In this video, we will explore the rise of Vito Genovese, his involvement in criminal activities, and the final period of his life. If you're ready, let's dive into this fascinating story. His Childhood and Criminal Beginnings Vito Genovese was born on November 27, 1897, in the town of Tofino, near Naples, Italy. Growing up, he experienced the hardships of poverty, witnessing the struggles of his family and community. In 1913, at the age of 15, Genovese and his mother, along with several siblings, made the life-changing decision to immigrate to the United States. They joined the wave of Italian immigrants seeking better economic opportunities in America. Upon arriving in New York, Genovese quickly became exposed to the harsh realities of urban life. Faced with the challenges of assimilation, language barriers, and discrimination as an immigrant, he found himself drawn to the allure of criminal activities as a means to survive and support his family. Genovese's involvement in street fights became a way for him to establish his place within the Italian-American community. His willingness to engage in violence, coupled with his cunning nature, earned him a reputation as a tough and fearless individual. He soon discovered that his abilities and reputation in the criminal underworld could offer him a pathway to power, respect, and financial gain. To sustain himself and contribute to his family's welfare, Genovese turned to petty crimes such as theft and pickpocketing. Engaging in these activities allowed him to acquire the necessary resources to navigate the challenging environment of New York City streets. As Genovese began to establish himself within the Italian-American community and gain recognition for his criminal exploits, he caught the attention of established mobsters operating in New York City. This association would eventually shape his path and lead him deeper into the world of organized crime. Alignment with influential figures in Mafia Vito Genovese recognized the importance of aligning himself with powerful and influential figures within the Italian-American Mafia. One of his most significant alliances was with Lucky Luciano, who would later become one of the most prominent and influential figures in the American Mafia. Genovese established a close relationship with Luciano, proving his loyalty, dedication, and usefulness to him. This alliance positioned Genovese as a trusted associate and integral part of Luciano's criminal operations. Through his association with Luciano, Genovese gained access to influential circles and expanded his network within the Mafia. During the Prohibition era, the production, distribution, and sale of alcoholic beverages were illegal in the United States. Genovese recognized the immense profitability of bootlegging and seized the opportunity. He played a significant role in organizing and overseeing the entire bootlegging operation. This included coordinating the smuggling of alcohol, overseeing its production in illegal distilleries, arranging transportation, and ensuring its safe passage and distribution to various establishments. Genovese's role in bootlegging not only brought him substantial financial gains but also established his reputation as a capable and resourceful criminal. Building upon his success in bootlegging, Genovese expanded his criminal activities beyond the alcohol trade. He ventured into the realm of illegal gambling, which included establishing control over various gambling operations such as casinos, sports betting, and numbers rackets. Genovese employed his intelligence and strategic thinking to ensure the profitability and protection of these enterprises. He used his connections and influence to gain control over gambling establishments and establish a network of operations. Genovese's involvement in illegal gambling further solidified his status as a powerful and influential figure within the Italian-American Mafia. Genovese's rise in the Mafia ranks was characterized by his intelligence, ruthlessness, and ability to navigate the complex web of Mafia politics. He understood the importance of alliances, rivalries, and power dynamics within the Mafia and used this knowledge to his advantage. Genovese was known for his ability to manipulate and control situations, making strategic moves that furthered his own interests and increased his power and influence. He demonstrated a willingness to use violence and showed no hesitation in eliminating rivals or those who posed a threat to his position. The Castellamorese War The Castellamorese War was a violent and bloody power struggle that took place in New York City during the early 1930s. It was fought between two factions of the Sicilian Mafia, led by Giuseppe Masseria and Salvatore Maranzano. 
the war was primarily centered around the control of lucrative criminal rackets, territories, and the overall leadership of the Italian-American Mafia in New York. Vito Genovese recognized the rising influence of Lucky Luciano within the Masuria faction and saw an opportunity to strengthen his own position within the Mafia by aligning himself with him. Genovese understood the importance of forming alliances and recognized Luciano's strategic thinking and leadership qualities. By aligning with Luciano, Genovese positioned himself within the faction that had the potential to emerge victorious in the war. Genovese, along with Luciano and other allies, conspired to eliminate Joe Masuria, who was the leader of one of the factions in the Castellamarese War. On April 15, 1931, Genovese and Luciano arranged a meeting with Masuria at a restaurant in Coney Island, Brooklyn. During the meeting, while playing cards, Genovese excused himself to use the restroom, creating a perfect opportunity for his accomplices to carry out the assassination. Genovese's allies, including Luciano, stormed in and shot and killed Masuria, effectively eliminating a major rival in the war. The murder of Joe Masuria had a significant impact on the outcome of the Castellamarese War. With Masuria out of the picture, Salvatore Maranzano's faction was weakened, and Luciano's faction, which included Genovese, gained the upper hand. This pivotal event allowed Luciano to consolidate his power and establish himself as the dominant force in the Italian-American Mafia in New York City. Genovese's involvement in orchestrating Masuria's murder played a crucial role in solidifying Luciano's position. Genovese's involvement in the Castellamarese War showcased his loyalty to Luciano and his strategic thinking. By aligning himself with Luciano, Genovese demonstrated his commitment to furthering their collective interests. Establishment of the Genovese Crime Family After rising through the ranks of the Italian-American Mafia, Vito Genovese established his own crew, known as the Genovese Crime Family. This family would go on to become one of the most powerful and influential Mafia families in the United States. Genovese carefully selected loyal and capable individuals to surround himself with, creating a strong support network that helped him expand and protect the family's criminal enterprises. Operating primarily out of New York City, the Genovese crime family extended its reach beyond the city's borders. Genovese sought to establish a nationwide presence, expanding their interests and influence to other parts of the country. This expansion allowed the family to increase their criminal activities and exploit new opportunities for profit. Under Genovese's leadership, the Genovese crime family ventured into various criminal activities, going beyond the traditional mafia enterprises. One significant area of expansion was drug trafficking, with the family becoming heavily involved in the heroin trade. Genovese formed alliances with international drug cartels, enabling the importation and distribution of narcotics on a large scale. The family controlled key aspects of the drug trade, from production to distribution networks, accumulating immense wealth and power. Another area of focus for the Genovese crime family was labor racketeering. They exploited their influence within labor unions for financial gain. Through extortion, bribery, and manipulation, they gained control over various labor unions, ensuring their compliance and extracting money from businesses through illegal means. This allowed them to exert control over industries and exert influence over labor disputes, further increasing their wealth and power. Recognizing the potential advantages of political connections and corruption, Genovese sought to expand the family's influence into the realm of politics. The Genovese crime family engaged in political manipulation, employing bribery, intimidation, and other tactics to sway elections, protect their criminal enterprises, and ensure favorable outcomes for their interests. They forged alliances with corrupt politicians and infiltrated political institutions, using their illicit influence to shield their operations from law enforcement scrutiny. Power Struggles and Downfall Despite his initial success, Genovese's reign as a mafia boss was not without challenges. Internal power struggles within the family often erupted, as ambitious and rival members fight for control and a larger share of the family's wealth and influence. These conflicts occasionally escalated into violence, leading to internal strife and instability. One event that significantly impacted Genovese's position as a boss was the infamous Appalachian meeting in 1957. Genovese orchestrated the gathering of numerous high-ranking mobsters at the Appalachian, New York, residence of Joseph Barbara. However, the meeting was raided by law enforcement, resulting in the arrest of many attendees.
this incident brought increased law enforcement scrutiny to the Mafia and undermined Genovese's leadership. Genovese's downfall came in 1959 when he was convicted of narcotics conspiracy. This conviction severely weakened his position as a boss and led to his imprisonment. He spent the remainder of his life behind bars until his death in 1969. Legacy Vito Genovese left a lasting legacy as one of the most prominent figures in American organized crime history. His rise to power, strategic thinking, and influence on the Italian-American Mafia had a significant impact on the criminal landscape of his time. Genovese's criminal career spanned several decades, and he played a crucial role in shaping the Mafia's activities, particularly in New York City. His involvement in the Castellamere's War, his alignment with Lucky Luciano, and the establishment of the Genovese crime family solidified his place as a key player in the underworld. That's all that I have for now. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting video.